Hi guys, I thought I'd do a quick video for you for those of you who've been asking about wedding fairs recently because I know this has been a bit of a hot topic. Um, so I thought while I'm at one today, for one of my own, I would um, you know just walk you through it kind of thing. So today we've got, um, it's, it's kind of a pretty standard wedding fair setup where you, you know everybody has a bit of a table, a bit of a roller banner, you know, that kind of thing. Um, but what I've been trying to say to you guys is, um, so this is our stand here, so you can see, although in terms of floral arrangements, it's probably fairly, you know, it's fairly basic, but it looks beautiful and eye-catching, and there's things that kind of, you know, multi-levels and, you know, something a bit different, but a bit out of the norm. Um, and eye-catching from across the room, you know, as soon as you, you come in, you can see something like that. Um, so, you know, I was trying to sort of get you guys away from the standard sort of, you know, you have a table with a banner and then, you know, a bouquet and a buttonhole and, um, you know, an example of a centrepiece, you know, that sort of thing. It doesn't have to be that way. And, you know, fine if that works for you 100%, then I think you do have to sort of, um, uh, you know, kind of, you know, judge every venue by its um, its own merits and every, every wedding fair by its own merits. But, um, you know, something like this for today's wedding fair, uh, is working really nicely. It shows off our stands, our new stands, which actually are really popular. They're more popular than the expensive archway that I bought, to be honest. So everybody loves these stands. Um, but it's eye-catching. It's something that, you know, it looks quite luxurious and the colours are perfect for the room. It's things at multi-levels. It's just something a bit more interesting. So another tip is to really get people talking about the day. So if you approach them immediately when they come to your stand and just say, hi, here's a leaflet, when are you getting married? You know, all the bog standard questions that they've been asked by everybody else at that wedding fair then there's only so much you're going to get out of them but you stand um, talk to them about the day even if they've already um, you know they haven't like booked for a venue yet or anything like that um, talk to them about the day help them plan it plant some ideas into their head and the longer they're at your stand talking to you the more likely they are uh, they are to remember you and um, remember you as a, a nice positive helpful person as well so you know um, that's tip number two Okay, and top tip number three is to give some of your flowers away to the venue or your fellow suppliers afterwards. Isn't that right, Lucas? That is very right. Thank you. <laughs> so wedding fairs are essentially um, about building relationships with people. Um, not just the couples are there, but the fellow suppliers as well. Um, so get round all of the other people's stalls, um, take videos, post on social media, tag them, and you know just build relationships with the other suppliers, but also crucially, um, speak to people, have genuine conversations with the couples that are actually there, you know, be interested in their day, um, get them talking, maybe show them a few different flower types that you've got on your stand, but also find out about them and their day, you know, it's much better to um, build the relationship that way and kind of, you know, get, get to know them a little bit before it even gets to a consultation or providing quotes, anything like that, you find out whether they're right for you and whether you're right for them. So, final tip for today is to follow up with your fellow wedding suppliers from the wedding fair. So hopefully throughout the fair, you will have you know been brave and gone around and introduced yourself and said hi. You know, if you're new at these things, then most of the people there are going to be new to you. Um, if you aren't so new and you've maybe met those people before, you know, follow up with them, just say hi, you know, catch up with them, lovely to meet you, that sort of thing. So when you get back home, now is the time to really start building on that relationship and um, further cementing it by, you know, catching up with them online, maybe tagging them in some Instagram stories or um, dropping them a message to say, hey, it was lovely to meet you today. Um, I, for example, have just messaged the cake maker from today to say, hi, thanks so much for that cupcake you gave us. It was really delicious. Lovely to meet you today. Hope to see you again soon. You know, so it doesn't have to be much. It's just further cements you in their minds and vice versa. Um, I, when I was first starting out, did, you know, quite a few wedding fairs and I built some amazing relationships with uh, other suppliers, you know, bridal shops, things like that, um, which have served me throughout my career, not just, you know, an immediate return, you know, further down the line, a few years, you know, you've built that relationship with them and you, you know, they're recommending you to their clients and vice versa. So it really is worthwhile. It's just as worthwhile to follow up with uh, the suppliers and, 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 you know, build that relationship with them as it is about connection with the couple. So you pay a lot to be at these wedding fairs. Um, so get that maximum return on your investment and uh, follow up with your fellow suppliers too.